In this work, we provide a method for detecting and localizing objects near a robot arm using arm-mounted miniature time-of-flight sensors, like the sensor shown here. A key challenge with arm-mounted sensors is being able to differentiate between the robot itself and other unknown objects. To address this challenge, we propose a computationally lightweight method which utilizes the raw time-of-flight information captured by a class of off-the-shelf, low-resolution time-of-flight sensors. We capture measurements from the sensor, which we use to build a model of how the robot would appear to the sensor for any given joint state, if no other objects were present. At runtime, we use this model to detect deviations in the raw time-of-flight measurements, which correspond to unknown objects. Because our method differentiates between the robot and other objects, it allows flexibility in sensor placement to achieve more efficient coverage of a radius around the robot arm, like the sensor configuration shown here. For details on how our method works and quantitative results, please refer to the paper. The following is a qualitative demonstration of our method. First, we demonstrate our method in this configuration, which is investigated thoroughly in the paper. In this configuration, the sensor is only able to see the wrist links, so we sample the three degrees of freedom of the robot wrist to build a model of the expected raw time-of-flight information. After capturing reference images, we begin object detection with our method. As the robot moves, no objects are detected regardless of joint state. However, as objects enter the field of view of the sensor, they are detected, even when they occupy the same space as the wrist links once did. Objects are detected and localized along the entire length of the arm. The method is not perfect. Sometimes small objects far from the sensor are not detected in this configuration. More rarely, sensor noise leads to a false positive result. We demonstrate another configuration in which the sensor is facing outwards from the arm surface. For this sensor position, we build a model by sampling the positions of the second and third robot joints. Again, in this configuration, the robot is not detected regardless of joint state. But when an unknown object enters the field of view of the sensor, it is detected and localized. The method presented in this work is a step towards whole body proximity sensing with minimal sensing cost and has applications in obstacle avoidance and human-robot interaction.